Okay, let us take up the next one that is question number 16. Axis of a parabola lies along x axis. If its vertex and focus are a distance at 2 units and 4 units respectively from origin. So, distance of vertex and focus given from origin. On the positive x axis, then which of the following points does not lie on it? A simple question, if you talk about the geometry of it, you can say this is x axis, y axis. Since parabola is, it is given in the question having vertex and focus at distance of 2 units and 4 units, meaning clearly we have the points as 2 comma 0 and 4 comma 0. So, what is the equation of the parabola? Let us write down. The equation of the parabola for this question, we can say it is y square equals 4 into 2 x minus 2. Why so? Because a is 2, correct? So, now look at the options. It is given which of the following is not lying on it. 4 comma minus 4. When you put 4 comma 4 here, you can see 16 on the left side and here you have also 16. So, it is lying meaning it is not the required one. Next, similarly put second, third, you will see these are also lying and only fourth option is not lying. So, what is the correct answer here? Option number 4 is the correct one as point 8 comma 6 is not lying on the given parabola. Let us move on to the next question. The system of linear equations, three equations are given, has infinitely many solutions, unique solution, inconsistent, we have to discuss about it. So, let us start this question by writing given equations in matrix equation form. We can write it as 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, a square minus 1, x, y, z is equal to 2, 5 and a plus 1. Correct? Now, if I apply first r 3 minus r 2 in one step and after that I apply r 2 replaced with r 2 minus 2 r 1. Correct? First I applied r 3 replaced with r 3 minus r 2, then r 2 with r 2 minus 2 r 1. What happens? Let us check out. My objective was to make zeros. So, here we have the result as 0, 0, a square minus 3, 0, 1 and the last is also 0, 1, 1, 1, x, y, z and here we have 2, the first one. Then we have here a minus 4 and here we have 1. Correct? Now, when you talk about unique solution, what is the requirement? a square minus 3 should not be 0. That will give you unique solution. If a square minus 3 not equal to 0, meaning unique solution. If a square minus 3 is 0, what will happen? If a square minus 3 is 0, means no solution. Why so? If a square minus 3 is 0, meaning a is plus minus root 3. When a is plus minus root 3, this row is 0, but it is not. Correct? Now, if a is not equal to 4, what will be the conclusion? It has a unique solution. Because if a is equal to 4, then we have this term non-zero. So, a equals 4 is also giving me unique solution. Now, look at the given options, which one is correct. Has infinitely many solutions? No. Is inconsistent when mod a is root 3? Yes, when you say a square minus 3 is 0, it is having no solution, this is inconsistent, this option is correct. Let us look at the other options as well, has a unique solution, no, is inconsistent, no, because it has unique solution for a equals 4. I am sure this question is clear, let us move on to the next one. The plane through the intersection of planes x plus y plus z equals 1 and 2x plus 3y minus z plus 4 equals 0 and parallel to y axis also passes through. So, simple one from 3D, let us start it. 2x plus 3y minus z plus 4, what I am going to do? I am writing family of planes p1 plus lambda p2 equals 0 plus lambda times x plus 
y plus z minus 1 is equal to 0. This is the required plane. It is parallel to y axis meaning when it is parallel to y axis, so its normal is perpendicular to y axis. So, a dot p will become 0, its normal is perpendicular to y axis, its normal is perpendicular to y axis. So, we have the result here 2 plus lambda into 0 because the direction ratios of y axis it is 0 1 0 plus 3 plus lambda into 1 plus minus 1 plus lambda into 0 is equal to 0 giving me lambda is equal to minus 3. Put the value of lambda as minus 3 and simplify. Therefore, plane is now the equation by substituting lambda is minus 3 we get minus x because 2 x minus 3 x 3 y minus 3 y cancelled minus z minus 3 z making minus 4 z plus 4 plus 3 giving me plus 7 is equal to 0. So, we can rewrite it as x plus 4 z is equal to 7. Now, look at the given options x plus 4 z y can be anything, but x and z are important. x plus 4z is equal to 1. When you look at the given options, yes, option number 1 is satisfying this equation. So, correct answer for this question is 0.321 is satisfying it. I am sure this is clear. Let us move on to the next one.